Hello YouTube. Today I'll be talking about my collection of butterflies and moths of Ohio and what you can expect from my channel for the summer because I'll be talking about most of these, raising some of them, and hopefully catching some and getting better specimens. So first off, these are all native to Ohio, every single one from one of the most common which is the sulfurs there are multiple species of sulfur in Ohio to the one of the least common which is the hummingbird clearwing and then everything in between so first we have the monarch I actually volunteer at a butterfly house I don't know if I told you that already but this butterfly hatched out deformed with with the ability not to fly so I asked and they allowed me to take him home and I cared for him to death till death the eastern black swallowtail I raised this one from a caterpillar and went into pupation before winter I stuck it in my garage thinking alright it's gonna be fine until spring it hatched out in the middle of winter I didn't know it hatched out and it died but it died like that, and yeah, now it looks nice. The skipper I found stuck like that in the spider web. It took forever to get all the strands out, but it still looks nice. And the red spotted purple. I have apple trees in my yard, so they come every year. This one was attacked by a bird, but it, the, on the other side of its wing, it has some breakage, so it has to be flipped on its side. The Pearl Crescent, just found dead on the ground. I'm going to get a little bit closer so you guys can see. The Buckeye, also found dead after the winter. Sulfur, actually I found dead after it crashed right into my window. The Imperial Moth, I found it at my reunion, which is interesting. It was sitting on the side of a church. I put in the cage that I brought along and ended up keeping it till death. It's a very beautiful moth and that is a female because it laid eggs for me. Males are a lot darker, have more oranges in them. The sphinx moth landed right in front of me on my doorstep so I kept it raised, well I kept it till death again. Hummingbird clearwing, I found it on a windowsill in this open room also at the same arboretum that I volunteer at that has the butterfly garden and house so yeah that is all remember to like and subscribe hopefully I'll show you caterpillars of some of these during the spring and summer and fall so remember to like and subscribe